Integers and floats are a little bit more simple than strings. Since we haven't arrived at the arithmetic section yet, what we'll do is take a look at an example of using these data types uh, and explain pretty much what happens when we echo them out. So we already know that how we store a simple integer is something like the following. So days in week is seven, or you could store your age, anything that is a whole number. Now an integer is a whole number, even if it's negative, and this includes zero. So an integer, a valid integer is a zero, a valid integer is a minus five, a minus 100, a minus a thousand. This is a valid integer. So we call this an integer. Now floats are similar, and these simply include any number with a decimal point. We already know that these are known as floating point integers, doubles, or real numbers. So they, we can call them anything, but to be honest, most of the time you'll hear them called floats. So a good example of a float and a kind of common example is pi. So 3.141, just as a very uh, short float. There we go. That is now a float. So we can perform calculations or more appropriately arithmetic on integers and floats, which is why they're different to strings. We can't add strings up, but we can concatenate them. But with floats and integers, we can add things up and do anything we want, divide, multiply. And of course, we'll be taking a look at this later when we cover, cover arithmetic. Now, just before we come away from floats and talk about what we uh, do when we echo these out or use them elsewhere, you can also use an E to denote very large values. So for example, if we wanted to define 1.2 million, so let's create a bank balance value, we would say 1.2 and then E6. So we know that that's going to create uh, a value of 1.2 million because we have six in there for the, the uh, amount of zeros. So let's go ahead and echo out bank balance just here. Go over to the browser and you can see one, 200 and then zero, zero, zero. So we've got 1.2 million. Okay, so what we're now gonna do is cover what happens when we echo out these numbers. Now we've already seen an example of echoing this out. We would kind of think that a string would be able to echo out, but with a float, this wouldn't quite work. But we know in this case that we literally just see text when we output a value. Now, as I said before, there are certain data types that we can't echo out, but for numbers, these are essentially just changed to strings when we try and echo them out. So we already know that we can just echo out a string. What we can also do is concatenate on float values, concatenate on integer values. So for example, we know that we have a string, we concatenate on a value, and I'm gonna say your bank balance is, and then I can even just include a pound or a dollar sign there, and you can see that we get that result. So it's very, very flexible. Like I said before, PHP is a loosely typed language, which means you can uh, use different variable types within each other's, and you'll generally find that things just work. So that is integers and floats. There's not really much more to cover. If you're getting into kind of advanced scientific things, there's probably more to learn. But really, just for now, know that you can define out a value like this, you can define out a value like this. You could even do 1.2 million like that, and it would just work in exactly the same way. We can concatenate it onto strings. We can output it as we normally would. And of course, later on, we're going to look at how we use arithmetic to uh, change numbers by using mathematical operators on them.